Oh, hello, um, uh, um, all, all the wonderful um, children out there and um, all my other gorgeous brothers and sisters in Jesus. Um, I, writ I wrote a story, um, it's kind of like um, based around the, um, the, the Easter story of Jesus um, when he gave his life for us. Um, and um, I didn't know what to name the name it at first, but I I decided to just simply call it Jesus' Little Helper. Um, I won't tell you what the story is about, but I'll simply read it to you. Okay, here it here it goes. Okay. Sabella, a little Greek girl, had moved to Nazareth with her dad, called Corbin, and brother Jace, a few years before this story ever happened. Sabella felt alone at times, but she did make two best friends, called Emmy and Gayla, who were the sweetest and kindest girls of the whole of Nazareth, and who knew their scripture and Jesus very well. Amy and Gayla had introduced Sabella to Jesus many times, and Sabella felt so loved by Jesus. The time when he blessed her and said, Suffer the little children who come unto me, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Sadly, not all children were very nice, though. And two particularly bully boys from Jerusalem, who were called Caleb and Jairus, had followed them back that day and taunted them. That night, Sabella came home with floods of tears. But her kind-hearted father, Corbin, comforted her and gave to her a very precious gift. A little pet bird, whom she fell in love with straight away. And, um, and she named Daisy. So this is how the story goes. One morning, Emmy, Gayla and Sabella had got up very early. They felt something was not quite right, but could not work out what was happening. Emmy and Gayla came, rushing into Sabella's home. Come on, Sabella, get yourself ready. We must try to find Jesus, they said in great, with great concern. Sabella asked, why do you sound so worried? They replied, it's just a dark feeling that we have. That can't be explained. Oh, OK, replied Sabella, but as long as I can take Daisy with me, please. Please, Father, please can I take um, Daisy with me? Corbin smiled and said, yes, take Daisy with you, sweetheart, but be careful that she will not fly away, especially with all the hawks about. Oh, thanks, Father, Sabella smiled, but Corbin replied, wait, girls, what is this dark feeling that you have? about our saviour Jesus. Emmy and Gayla replied, we don't know, but there is something dark about this Friday. Jesus has often spoken of himself as the saviour of the world, and we don't know what he's about to do. So Villa smiled, saying, well, Jesus seems like a lovely man, but as far as for being the saviour of the world, I'm not really sure yet. Corbin replied gently, yes, my daughter, Jesus is the saviour of the world. But my girls, Emmy and Gayla, don't worry too much, sweethearts. I'm sure that Jesus will be just, just fine. With that, Sabella grabbed Daisy and put her on her shoulder and the girl, three girls ran outside. In a distance, they heard mocking noises. They ran towards the noises and to the horror saw their dear friend Jesus being mocked and spat upon by some really nasty soldiers. Sabella looked at Amy and Galia with tears flowing down her face. How could they do that to uh, such a nasty thing to such a lovely man? The man who welcomed us uh, as children, she cried. Amy replied, this is what we have been telling you all along, that Jesus is about to experience a very hard trial. This morning, very early in the morning, Gayla and I were hiding behind some rocks. And even one of Jesus' very best friends, 
came and betrayed him with a kiss. And the soldiers arrested him. Nobody but Jesus saw us hiding behind the rocks. And he winked at us and said to us, Don't fret, little children, for I am doing this for you. So Bella asked, What is Jesus doing for us? We would just have to wait and see, replied Gaither. The taunt sounded out louder and louder. A man called Pilate spoke up. Who do you want to be set free? Jesus or Barabbas? The three girls found themselves suddenly joined to the crowd and screamed and cried with all their might, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. But sadly, it was no use as the majority had dropped, drowned out their sweet and innocent voices and Barabbas was set free. Behind the three kills stood Caleb and Jer Jarius. They mocked and teased the girls as Pilate asked, What shall we do with this Jesus of Nazareth? And their voices joined with the majority, shouting, Crucify him! The three girls put their hands over their ears in distress with a great sadness. A soldier guard moved the children on. Go home, he snapped. This is no place for children. He pushed them away, and on their way home, they got followed by Caleb and Jairus, haunting. Give you me your bird. She will make a lovely snack for my hawk. No, leave us alone, snapped Sabella. As for Jesus, he was going to be put to death. Um, mocked the boys. Luckily, Sabella's brother, Chase, was out about looking for Sabella, he had told the boys, get lost, don't you dare lay a finger on my sister and her friends, or you'll have me to answer for. With that, the bully boys scarpered, but what Sabella didn't notice was that Daisy had flown away. Chase said, Sabella, come back home, you have been out longer than father and I had expected, and where is Daisy? Sabella looked to her shoulders, but Daisy was not on it. Oh no, she cried. Sabella, and she rushed back home and ran straight into her father's arms, crying hard. What is the matter, sweetie? asked Corbin. It's been the most terrible day that I've ever had in my entire life, said dumb Sabella. First of all, my friends and I saw Jesus being mocked and beaten and then trialled for crucifixion, and now Daisy has flown away. Corbin had Sabella tight and gently said, It's okay, sweetheart, we will find Daisy again. I promise. Corbin, Sabella and Jace tried to find Jesus and follow him where he was being led to be crucified. But the crowds were so immense that they could not really see Jesus through the crowds. Jesus probably knew what had happened to little Daisy and of her whereabouts. But getting past the crowds were almost impossible. However, they still tried. Up high in the sky were hawks, and poor little Sabella sat crying and she prayed hard for God to send her Daisy back to her. She also promised that Jesus would be... She also promised... That she also prayed that Jesus, sorry, prayed that Jesus would be relieved of his sufferings for he loved and cared for, for she loved and cared for him deeply. But the most moving part is that she promised God that Jesus would become her saviour and nothing will come between bet, between them, but he will always be her saviour forever. So from that day forth, she gave her heart to Jesus as her saviour, as well as being the friend that she always had been to her and who she always had loved. Corbin held her close and they sat on the rock together. Good girl, for giving your heart to Jesus, he said gently. And he said, I promise that God is taking care of Daisy right now. From a distance, they saw the nails being hit into Jesus' hands and feet. Amy Gaither and Sabella and their families joined them as the three girls looked 
at the cross of Jesus weeping and holding hands. At three o'clock, Jesus took his last breath and died. And the three girls camped out all Friday night into Saturday morning, then in, into the Saturday night, hoping that somehow, although Jesus was gone, that they at least they could find little Daisy, but still there was no sign of her. On a more deeper level, they also hoped that Jesus was not dead, but alive somehow. The three girls, along with their families, all grieved deeply for the, their saviour and best friend. Suddenly, that Sunday morning, joy had fallen upon them like a river of joyful emotions. They watched as, as a woman who had, had woken them up with her screams of joy, who ran very fast, shouting at the top of her voice, he has risen! My Saviour has risen! She was running back to tell the disciples that Jesus was no longer dead, but he had defeated the grave and this forevermore, and because he died, we can all have everlasting life, life in heaven with him. The three girls approached Jesus, smiling, and Jesus smiled back. He put his hand up to the twig that was growing out of the rock. A little bird then stepped onto his hand with a great joy. In Sabella's heart, she noticed her daisy. Jesus handed Daisy back to Sabella. Jesus and the three girls embraced in true love. Jesus smiled. Your little bird, although such a small creature, is one very special little bird. Throughout my trials, suffering and death, she noticed that I was lonely. So she decided to follow me all the way to give me her support and friendship. Yes, your little bird was there for me all the time. Even in death, she would just sit by my so side and sing me songs from heaven. And so your little bird will always be remembered from heaven. And as a gift to her, she will have eternal life with you in heaven. Therefore, you two will never be without each other. Sabella's heart had melted. What was her most awful day on Friday turned out to be the best day of her life on Sunday. Now Jesus was her saviour, and Jesus can be your saviour if you will let him be. He suffered and died, but not in vain, but so that you and all of us together can have eternal life in heaven. And that's my story today. And I just want to say that, you know, we can be happy now because he is risen. Praise the Lord for that. Have a lovely day with your families. God bless you.